Hey guys, what's up? Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that we have been waiting for. I had my package, my last package come in a few days ago and we are ready to do a review slash demo slash first impression on the products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. Okay guys, as you can tell, my face is completely bare. I do have my uh, primers on, I have my professional and my pore area, and then I did my um, milk hydrating, uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but the milk hydro primer, that's what it is. The milk hydro primer on the perimeter of my face, and I did do my brows off of camera, um, so I am all set there. Now we do have a foundation, um, that I did get in the haul is the Estee Lauder, and this is the Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45. Whoa! So I got this in the shade 3N, and N is for neutral too, and the shade Wheat. So um, we are going to be testing this out amongst a lot of other products. I have about 10. About eight products total, eight or nine. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like right here. It's nice and sleek, easy for travel. You got the pump and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do is zoom you guys in and we are going to get into this demo slash review first impressions video. Okay guys, I'm just gonna shake this up and you guys know I like to go in with my favorite Sonia Kashuk sponge. And I, I believe this is like a medium to full coverage foundation and I am a more medium girl. So I'm gonna do a pump and a half. I'm not gonna do two pumps. And if I need to go in with more, I'll just add to it. So I'm going to do a pump. Whoa. Ah. So that's one pump and then I'm gonna do a half. Oh, it looks more like two. We'll see. <laughs> okay guys, so I am going to apply the product and blend it out. And this is supposed to be really hydrating, give you that nice supple skin, which you guys know I love. It has a bit of a fragrance. It's not too overpowering. It's like a light, very faint floral scent. And what I'm gonna do now is just take the rest of what I have on my sponge and just apply that to my forehead. I try not to go in with a lot of product on my forehead because I just feel like, you know, I don't, I don't need it up there. So I'm going to just pounce this in. It was really nice coverage. So I'm actually glad that I went in with two pumps or just a little less than two pumps. That's a really good amount for me. It gives a nice medium coverage. Okay, so, so far so good. We will see how all the other products applies over this foundation. Okay, next we have the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Magic Vanish Under Eye and Face Cheat for Intense Color Correction. So I got this in the medium shade. And this is the cute, gorgeous packaging right here. You guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just hoping that this really does help cancel out the little bit of purple, like light, light bluish purple in underneath of my eyes, like right in that corner there. It's just a bit of a shadow. So I, let me fill this, okay. So I don't know if you guys could see that on my ring finger there. It's a nice creamy, feels nice and creamy. So I'm just gonna just use my finger and just dab it in the areas that need some counseling right here. Okay. 
Okay, that's about as much as I feel like I need just in that area. So um, next we're going to be going in and I have been really excited to try this out, you guys. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct. And this is a 24 hour wear carrying full coverage creamy concealer. And I have watched reviews on this guy and they say less is more. So, because it's very, very full coverage. And for me, I don't really do full coverage, like uh, my whole base full coverage. You guys know I'm a medium girl. I used to be a full coverage girl, but now I'm more of a medium girl. And with this, I am going to tread very lightly. This is in the shade 3.5 Neutral. And look at the nice luxe packaging. It's Dior, so you know it's gonna be bougie and deluxe. So this is the shade I got. And then I can also use this. This is the shade of my skin. So I really don't like a bright under eye. Um, if I wanna brighten it up, I could use a lighter powder. But I like to also go in, if I need to like correct or conceal if I have a breakout, then I can use this as well. So let's just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and go in and highlight under my eyes and my T-zone area. All the places I like to highlight. So this is what the wand looks like right here. And I am going to go in. You guys, this is nice and creamy. It feels really, really nice on the skin. It's like a, it feels just creamy, like a light, watery, silky, creamy formula, which I like. So let's just start blending that out. And I, what I like to do is I like to wait until the concealer under my eyes dries up a little bit because it allows more coverage, if you will. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and blend under my eye. I could tell you guys right off the bat that I really like this concealer. Sometimes I try things for the first time and I just know I like it. I feel like this would be a really great concealer for people who have more mature skin because it's so creamy and silky. It's not too heavy. Let's just see how it looks under the eye area. I mean, I do have creasing with any concealer, some more than others. So let's just see what it looks like after I set everything down with powder. Let me get up in my big mirror. That looks really good. Next, I have the Pat McGrath Labs, and this is the medium shade, and this is the Blurring Under Eye Powder. You guys, I had to try this out. I have heard all the hoopla online, as you guys know, I'm a huge Pat McGrath Labs fan. I love their eyeshadows. I love her eyeshadows, excuse me. But I haven't tried any of her face products yet. So I wanted to try this. I was intrigued. And I am going to take, just go under my eyes again, make sure there aren't any creases, or not too many creases. And then I am going to go in with my Shade & Light Kat Von D brush. And I am just going to apply this powder. Now, I went in a little heavy, you guys. I don't know if you can see this. There is some kickback. So I just wanna let you guys know. So don't go in as heavy as I did. <laughs> That's what first impressions are about, people. Okay, so I'm gonna take this powder and I'm just gonna set right under my eye. Uh, it's a nice, fine, light under eye powder, which I really do enjoy. 
I'm even going to take a little powder and go in my T-zone area as well. Okay guys, I just wanna show you this. So this, I really do like the formula of this powder, but it does give a bit of a pickup, like a kickback actually. So I just wanted to note that. All right. But so far, so good as far as the product's concerned. I feel like it looks really nice under the eyes. And I even like setting it in my T-zone. It's a nice light powder. Um, I would have to try this out, you know, a little more because you guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury Magic uh, Primer, not Primer, uh, Magic uh, um, Press Powder. So, you know, I live for that powder, you guys. So let's just, I'm gonna test this out throughout the week and in a couple weeks, I will let you guys know which one I like better and why, but so far so good with the Pat McGrath Labs under eye powder. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Sculpting Illuminator. Packaging is everything, okay? And this is in the mahogany case packaging. Let's get her out, she comes in a fabulous pouch. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I am going to use this to cream contour or cream bronze tour, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but again, the beautiful packaging gets me every time. Um, let's open her up. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go in with the highlighting primer as well. It's a clear like balmy base and I feel like I would use that for priming the highlighted areas um, and then I will go over it with a powder um, highlight so we're going to do that today now I am going to use the other side of my shade and light brush to stipple this on and bronze and so that's going to be my cheeks perimeter of my forehead jawline, all that good stuff where I usually bronze. So I'm just going to go into the product here. I don't know how much to pick up, but. So I put about this much on my brush. I'll even it out a little bit more and I'm gonna go in. And I'm just doing it in stippling motions. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am in love with this product and I really didn't want to be because this retails for $88, but it's Tom Ford, it's luxury makeup, and I just feel like this blended itself out. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. Oh my God, I'm so happy I picked this up. It just blends itself out, it's like magic. <laughs> okay. So we're going to come back to the, uh, actually, let me just tap into this. See, this is just like a, you can't even see this on camera, you guys. So this is the actual cream base. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my fingers and tap it on my cheekbone area. I'm not going to put it on the other places I highlight. I'm just gonna tap it on my cheekbone area and then go over it with my La Mer highlighter once I complete my makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna do that using my fingers. And this, is, this can act as like a highlight primer, if you will. Feels nice and light on the skin, not too sticky. Okay, 
I really like this a lot. So far, I, I haven't found a dud or anything at all. So that's always a plus. But we have more products to get into, you guys. Okay, so what I am going to do next is I am going to use my handy dandy Fenty Beauty Pro Filter a loose powder and banana. You guys know I love this. I'm just gonna use this to set my whole entire face down. Um, like the perimeter of my face. And I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashik, and this is the face powder brush. I love this brush. This is a dupe for the, the La Mer uh, powder brush, and you can get this at Target. It's a beautiful brush. I like to use this to set the perimeter of my face. Okay guys, I am filling the base. And what we're going to do next is, we're going to go in with the Guerlain, and this is the Terracotta Light. The Sunkiss Healthy Glow Powder, light and long lasting, and this is in the shade 04 Deep Golden. Now I have the Meteorites in, um, uh, zero for uh, deep uh, golden as well and I like to use that to buff the whole entire face that is in the more of the like pearl um, like uh, product it's it isn't a bronzer like this guy and again beautiful mahogany packaging and this is what the inside of this guy looks like and I'm just gonna swirl my, um, excuse me, I'm gonna swirl my brush, not pencil, into this and I am going to bronze. And I am going to be using my Sonia G, and this is the Face Pro brush. I love this brush. It's great for bronzing. And I'm just gonna mix everything together. Here it is on the brush. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit. I love the smell of Galan products. If you guys don't like scents, then you're not gonna like Galan's products because they're scented, but it's just a very rich scent and I love the way it smells. So I'm gonna go in and bronze. Yes. Okay, I really, really like that. I love the mixture of the, the colors in here. It's like a pinky, medium brown, and like a light shimmer all in one. And as you guys can tell, this bronzer looks amazing. It has a little bit of sheen in it, but not too much. And you guys know I don't mind a sheen. And my bronzers, actually, I prefer sheen in my bronzers because I feel, feel like it just gives you a more healthy, young, youthful look, really. <laughs> so that is great. I'm happy with that. Okay, now let's get down to the business. Okay, this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream blush and this is in the shade strawberry strawberry drip okay guys love the names as I've mentioned before um, let's see how this works now I heard it it works really nicely over powder which I'm happy about because I like my brushes uh, brushes blushes to look a little more prominent and I don't mind a more sheer blush that you can build up on, and I like that if I can go over it with the powder. You know what I mean? And because I feel like sometimes when you put it on with your creams, after you powder, it, it just kind of fades away. So, this is what the little guy looks like here. I showed it in my haul. Now we're going to take a stippling brush. I'm trying to fill. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use a stippling brush or my sponge. I'm going to use a stippling brush, you guys. I'm just gonna go in with my shade and light brush and just wipe it off really well. 
which it didn't have too much product on this end. And I'm going to go in with that and just stipple a little bit at a time and build from there. So this is what the color looks like. Very pretty color. Okay, so if you're nervous about it being too pigmented, just dab a little bit of the excess off on your hand and then go in. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so um, yeah, so after I finish going over my cheeks with the rest of the remaining product, I didn't dip back into it, I just like to go over my nose just to give it that nice sunburnt in a good way look. Wow, this is really, really nice. I like how it's sheer and how you can just build it up. It looks really nice on the skin and I think I'm gonna get some more of these. I really like it, I am impressed. And I love that I can go over powder. Perfect. Okay, and again, that's in the shade Strawberry Drip. I will be picking up more of these. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have the Pat McGrath, and this is the Ultra Lip Pencil Crayon. And this is in the shade, what shade is this, I forgot. <laughs> this is in the shade Contour, okay guys? So what I'm gonna do, and it, actually I mentioned this in my haul, it does come with a sharpener, which I can truly appreciate. As you guys know, I'm a Pat McGrath Labs collector. And I also collect the packaging because it's art. So I will not be throwing this away, okay? <laughs> I will be keeping this guy because it's beautiful, just like all of her other packaging. And what I am going to do is go in with this lip liner, and that's what she looks like right here. This is the shade. And I am going to dab off uh, my lip conditioner. And I'm going to fill in my lips and then I'm gonna follow that up with my Charlotte Tilbury and Nude Kate. And I've, I've talked about this um, lipstick on my channel before, but just in case you haven't seen it, here's a swatch. Beautiful, beautiful nude. This was my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and I love it and she's right here. So it's like a beautiful, sorry guys, it's like a beautiful peachy nude, but it's neutral. So. I'm going to do that and then after I finish my lips, I'm gonna go off of camera. I'm gonna finish my makeup with products that I have currently already have in my collection and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, I am going to zoom out and I am going to give you guys my final thoughts. But here's my makeup up close and we are going to get into some things, okay? Hey guys, I am back and I am feeling my makeup, okay? I just love the way all of the products look. Um, let's just start with the Estee Lauder Hydra Rescue. Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is fantastic, you guys. I really do love, the color match was perfect for me. Um, I do love the way it feels on my skin. It feels very, very light. I don't feel like I have a lot of product on my face at all. Um, it's a great color, like I said. Love the packaging, love the pump great for travel and um, it just looks healthy like 
it's just a healthy looking foundation and I really, really do like this. I'm excited that it has SPF 45 in it so I can wear it during the day. Um, I would wear it at night too. Um, I would need to take some pictures to make sure there's no flashback or anything weird, but I feel like I can wear this day and night, but this is definitely for sure by far a daytime nice foundation that you can wear that's not too heavy, especially in these spring and summer months. I really, really like this. I see why Mel Thompson rag like talks about this all the time. She raves about it. I see why. I'm going to continue to play with these products, of course, off camera, but so far, my first impression, really like this guy a lot. The second product is the Forever Skin Correct by Dior. It's the uh, 24 Wear Caring Full Coverage Creamy Concealer. I love this. I love it because less is more. It's nice and creamy and silky. And I got up really, really close in my in my mirror, you guys, at my vanity even. And also out here in my studio under the lights. And I gotta tell you, I have creasing, okay, I do. But this does not crease under my eyes a lot. I'm getting up really, really close. And it just feels, I don't know, it feels like a gel smoothing, creamy concealer, if you will. And I love the coverage on it. Again, less is more. Uh, if you want more of a full coverage, go for it. I would also use this as a spot conceal as well. So I'm really, really here for this product and I can't wait to continue using it. It's a banger, in my opinion. The next product is the Tom Ford Illuminate 01. And I like this as a bronzer or bronze tour. You guys, this just blended itself out. I mean, I don't have any, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's an expensive product, but I would, I'm happy I have it in my collection. I'm not gonna lie, I would per, like pick this up again. I would definitely repurchase this product. It's just magical, it looks good on the skin. For some reason, I'm getting into more cream products and I'm really here for it, I'm feeling it. So. The packaging, it's Tom Ford, it's very luxe, but also the product is amazing. Love, love, love it. Okay, so next we have the Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade Medium 2, and this is the Under Eye Corrector. Now, I need to play with this guy a little more. Again, I tried it for the first time, obviously, on camera with you guys, but like I said, I've been looking under my eyes, and I feel like it did counsel out a little bit of that darkness in the debit area under my eyes, just right here. I feel like that it did brighten it, it did counsel it out. I do need to continue to try these products and to continue to try this one as well um, to see how I feel about it. But upon first impression, it's a good product. I like it. And it did counsel out the darkness. So that's, that's what it's for. <laughs> anyway, um, the next product is the Terracotta Light, and this is the 04 Deep Golden. And you guys, I love bronzers, and this is just a nice bronzer, and it has shimmer in it. It's just very beautiful, and I love, love, love the packaging. Again, it's the mahogany packaging. It has a nice mirror inside, and again, I love the scent of Guerlain's products. This is like a light floral faint scent. The scent goes away, but I really do like this bronzer and I'm happy to have it in my collection as well. Next we have the Pat McGrath and this is the Contour Lip Liner. I like this a lot. I'm wearing it as you guys saw me pair it with my new Kate by Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful, beautiful pencil. I, I really do like it a lot. I feel like this would take the place of my cork by MAC, which is saying a lot because I love my cork and my chestnut by MAC, but this is a good one. And the fact that it comes with a sharpener is a really, really good deal. So I am enjoying that so far. Next we have the Cream Fenty Beauty, and this is, and it's the Cheeks Out 
uh, formula and it's the strawberry drip. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to pick up a few more of these. <laughs> like I said, I'm really feeling this cream vibe and this just, if you use a stippling brush like I use, I feel like you could use a, you know, a, um, a sponge as well, but I feel like if you use a stippling brush and you build up to your liking, it just looks perfect on my skin. And I love, I cannot say this enough, I love the fact that you can go over powder with this. I feel like if you just went underneath your powder, it would just disappear, you know? So I would suggest going over this cream blush over your powder. I think it will be just iconic beautiful, epic, dope. It'll be amazing. I am so loving this. I'm gonna order some more shades. That's how much I like it. And last, but certainly not least, the Pat McGrath, I got it in the shade medium, and this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do like this product. I need to play with it more. It does have a lot of kickback, um, kick up, if you will, but that doesn't really bother me too much because I feel like there's, I mean, it's gonna take a, some time to go like through this, I feel like, cause it's, it's kind of deep in there. Um, but I don't know if it's as good as my Shala Tilbury airbrush powder. So I'm gonna continue, press powder actually. I'm gonna continue to use this guy. I do like it. I feel like it looks really good on my skin. It went out over my under eye products as well. And I even like it for um, the T-Zone. So I'm going to continue to try all of these products out, but those are my thoughts so far, you guys. Um, if you would like an updated video on these products, please let me know down below in the comment section. I enjoy chatting with you guys. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate the support. Um, if you like this video, make sure you please give it a thumbs up, you guys, and subscribe to my channel. I upload every week, once a week, and um, make sure you hit that bell bar down below so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I am active on social media, so make sure you follow me on all of my social media accounts. And until next time, take care, guys. Bye.